second epic ride of the day, this time into the real mountains, up into the Alpine. So, me and my Shek is on our fourth day of the road trip and our second ride this day. Yet, we decided to go for an epic ride up in the mountains above Trisil. But hey, we rented e-bikes, so it would be fine, right? It's so easy to forget though that planning epic rides is easy. Making it all come together during the actual ride though is a bit harder. As we passed the top we were going down on the other side of the mountain, trying to find a blue trail that was supposed to be a really nice descent. Nice! Up in the Alpine! Just before we started the ride my girlfriend called and said she had to go to the ER. As we were in another country and a 6 hour drive from home, I couldn't do much about that at the time. But she had made sure that grandma would take care of our kid until midnight. So as long as I was home before that, it was cool. Found it! It was a nice descent, but it got quite obvious that the suspension on the bikes were either just cheap or badly serviced. The bike felt far too stiff for this rocky terrain. To our big surprise, the batteries on our bikes were draining a lot faster than we had anticipated. But we did turn off the bikes as often as we could to save battery. The blue flow trail in the outback was also something we thought would be worth the extra pedaling. It was really quite bleak though, especially when riding a heavy e-bike with the motor turned off to save battery. And the corners was not burned enough and had loose gravel in them, so it was hard to maintain speed. Ett annat alternativ. Du kör ner där. Så tar han här. At this point we knew we would not be able to do the full planned loop. But I saw a shortcut on the other half of the loop, so we pressed on even though the batteries were well below the halfway point. It was a really nice trail though, so it felt good to have pressed on. So I guess this is what happens when you're trying to take a shortcut down in the Alpine. Yeah, the shortcut turned out to be exactly what they say about shortcuts. We ended up in a big field of boulders where we had to carry the bike. We probably carried the e-bikes for 30 or 45 minutes before we got out on something resembling a trail again. I think that we're finally is out of all the bike pushing. That was not a good shortcut. But every time we started pedaling we made it like 50 meters before there were boulders we had to carry the bike over. Now, if we would have had fresh legs and use in the batteries, most of this second part would probably be rideable. But we had so little battery left that we had the motors mostly turned off. Oh, I'm so waiting for the point where it will get better. And our legs felt very off too. And it's not super fun to pedal a 30 kilogram electric bike without the motor on. Turn on the slut. We were also starting to understand that maybe we wouldn't make it back to the bike rental place before they closed. Sooner or later it will be rideable. Which would be a big problem as we needed to get in the car by 6 p.m. to be able to relieve grandma from the babysitting. That's one tire dude. Nej det där måste ha trysen toppen så ska vi ner där så ska vi runt om där. Ja jag lade trampa på. One hour until closing. All right. I think we're actually getting out of all the hellish rocks into something pedable. I must have said that like 20 times. Now the trail opens up. I guess, I guess much of that would have been pedable if, if you haven't been, hadn't been as tired as we are. This is the stuff dreams are made of. Whoops. Snake! We only have one species of poisonous snake in the Nordics, and that was it. However, unless you are really allergic, it doesn't really pose any real danger. I don't know, let's just call up a car for a snap. 40 minutes. I take... I walk not on the side of the bike. Okay, so up the bike, then down... No, but... I understand, let's go. 
Maybe I can do a place for him. <laughs> My check is getting uh, grumpy. I think we come here now, Malik Moose. So the final payoff, seven kilometers of downhill flow trail that leads back down to the village and the bike rental shop. Although much of the trail is just too flat and boring, it sure has some nice parts also. This is a good time to mention that if you like this video, Please give it a like and uh, maybe a subscribe. Okay, five minutes there. We still have four liters. Five minutes until closing. You could make it or just about miss it. Stäng en minut. And what do you know? We just made it. The road trip did get shortened one day due to me having to return home. But it was a great for the road trip. Want to see more riding in Trisil? Check out the top right video or the bottom right playlist for the full road trip.